Hello, I'm Tim Martin, Chairman of Weatherspoons. I've done a tour of a hundred of our pubs from Newcastle to Penzance, from Swansea to Norwich, and I just wanted to give a couple of messages that I've got from customers. I talked to customers in every single pub, was asked questions by them, and the main message is they know and we know that Theresa May's deal is not Brexit. So please don't vote for it on the basis you think it's salvaging something from the referendum process. It isn't. What we have to go for on the 29th of March is no deal. That will enable us to eliminate tariffs. The government's got plans to do that. Regain control of fishing. Avoid a payment of £39 billion legally and increase the level of democracy in the country. Then we can negotiate. Another point that's making people around the country very frustrated is the idea they didn't know what they were voting for. It's so damn patronizing. Of course they knew what they were voting for. It was on the ballot paper. And what people have most said to me is that we didn't vote for a deal. We voted to leave. An important point is, that the EU is bringing the law into disrepute because it's using legislation and treaties like a spider's web that hardly anyone understands. It confuses MPs and it confuses the public. People are making a big fuss about what you have to do to prepare for a no deal. It's mostly complete bollocks. Um, we've proven that at Weatherspoon. We've uh, changed French brandy for Aussie brandy. I mean, how difficult is that? And that applies across the board. There's almost uh, nothing you can buy from the EU that you can't buy from elsewhere in the 93% of the world that isn't in the EU. There's no need to worry about these scare stories. Just get the hell out. Get out the back, Jack.